Richmond, Virginia, population 230,000 individuals, metro population 1.3 million people. Once a city with a checkered past, Richmond, Virginia is now home to multiple universities, a plethora of people, and a whole hotbed of culture, breeding individualism and creativity. Behind me, you see it, a hustling, bustling city, but there's a problem. All right, America, get ready for this. Give me affordable housing or give me death. Richmond, Virginia, once a spot where the American Revolution was hosted on this very spot, Patrick Henry gave his speech, give me liberty or give me death. This week, Richmond made news for other reasons. Axios.com published that Richmond citizens are experiencing a rent burden where 52% of citizens are experiencing paying more than 30% of their wages and income towards housing and living. Once again, why? You said it, the rent is too damn yeah. high. The other aspect is that Point Two published an article that was quoted in the New York Times as saying, Richmond, Virginia is the second hardest place in the country for Gen Z or younger people to purchase homes. Why is that? And what does that mean for America? Let's talk to the people and find out. Parker, um, I believe a lot of great things are happening here. There's a lot of great businesses, a lot of great creatives. And the biggest thing about it is there's a lot of great resources, I think, for like financial empowerment as well as um, just access to capital. And I think even here, it's always kind of been this creative community. And so I've kind of even seen it since um, 2015. There's just been a lot of infrastructure. I think you think of larger cities, like you go to like a DC or New York, you know, the infrastructure to kind of get in the various entry are a lot higher. And so Having economic struggle dating back to the American Civil War, when the Southerners literally burned down the city so that the Northerners couldn't have it after they left. Since then, because of certain racist roots that led to redlining as exposed by the University of Richmond, because of things like this, certain parts of Richmond have not developed as fast as other portions. Therefore, allowing this area to be bought up for super cheap. Richmond's housing crisis shines light on a bigger problem that's happening in America. On average, Americans are making less money and spending more money in cost of living. This is causing inflation where people need more money to survive and products cost more money to produce. Inflation is happening across the country and driving Americans of all walks of life to seek affordable housing. Once a forgotten city, Richmond is seeing a mass migration of people as the affordable housing crisis in major cities becomes more apparent. And I'll tell you what, what's sad is, um, you know, we know the cost of everything is going up. And the wages never go up. I mean, when they do, it makes everything else go up. So it always comes back to money, and that's a sad reality. So so times are coming where not a lot of people are going to be able to afford to live. I think that my least favorite thing right now about the city is that it is expanding too rapidly and that we do not have the infrastructure to facilitate that and that really scares me it's smaller uh had a lot of cool stuff happening now uh there's all that stuff still happening but people get pushed out of the city there's less of that prices increase too much growth too rapid too too much growth too rapid. okay yeah. wow um one of my major thoughts is the homeless epidemic I was very unaware of the, how huge the po homeless population is. And it's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. There's money allocated mm -hmm. to help the homeless, but where is it going? A lot of, like when you come out here on Saturdays, that's a good thing. Come out here on Saturday mornings, right here in the parking lot of the Salvation Army, 
tons of people come out here every week. That is right. It's to build that sense of community that we, I think we as Americans have lost. Right. We need to rebuild that. Well, I, I think from our perspective, with the increase of technology, it separates us. So we, we need to get back to that personal touch of, you know, taking care of each other. Matter, you know, it doesn't matter what color or race you are. You just basically come out here and care. And that's all it is, man. Just caring. Nurturing, loving on people like that, man, because you never know a smile can change someone's life. Talk to some people, like you'd be surprised just one simple act of kindness how it can change somebody's life.